Mr. Bell Lopez. What's up, Izzy? I'm Bell Fountain. How are you feeling? I'm all right. I'm That's all right. good. All right. all right, so what's up with you today? I'm getting ready to spar. Got all my jewelry out, my hands wrapped. Yeah. So I'm just getting ready to spar. Yeah, she was we are, we're waiting for the guys right now. C4, well, Qua, Qua here. Mm. Shout out to him. He's doing his thing. He's back in the gym, you know. <laughs> Promo. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm waiting. How many rounds are you doing today? I don't know. I got, we got two different, one, two, three, four, anywhere from six to eight. We'll see. Depends mm. on how much time I have. Okay. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, the, I guess the question probably everybody wants to know is number one, when's your next fight? Number two, <laughs> when are you turning pro, is it? Oh my god, the two questions that I fucking hate. Mm. Okay, so when I'm turning pro, I don't know. I would need to get the nationals under my belt. That's coming up later this year. Um, mm. Talking to Bozy about that, so we'll see. As of right now, I'm focused on like big, bigger tournaments and like bigger competitions because the small shows and the, those fights, that's cool and all, but it's harder to get them. Especially over here, like, I know most of the girls, far most of the girls, and, like, I don't know. It's, man and Pua have been having a hard time <laughs> when it comes to getting fights, so I'm just waiting right now. But, but in the tournament style, everybody got to fight, so exactly. it's, just, it's a little different. You have to fight, mm -hmm. and it's consecutive. You can get, boom, three, four, five fights. It depends on the size of the tournament, so that's, uh, that's what I want. Um, How often do you spar? Is it? I spar Tuesdays and Thursdays, sometimes on Saturdays when we come in. Mm. Yeah, the the off days because the guys have Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the girls do Tuesday, Thursday. And sometimes Saturday. Sometimes Saturday. Today we're sparring on a Wednesday though, because we had work come down. So yeah. You you like being the focus? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I very 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 much do. What can I say? I'm built for the spotlight. Okay, I dig it. <laughs> All right, um, is it? So it's an actual funny time in boxing. So whereas though now you got women, 10 years, 20 years ago, there there wasn't as many big women fights. Mm. There was like maybe one, big maybe bad. two, whoever Layla Ali was fighting. But now yeah. it's, you know, Katie Taylor versus Serrano. <laughs> to you too. <laughs> now you got Katie Taylor versus Serrano yes. in Madison Square Garden. And now mm. Serrano's coming back to the garden. Uh -huh. And then... Um, Clarissa Shields versus Savannah Marshall. Yep. Is this the best time to be coming up as an amateur into the pros? I One think, personally, I would have had liked to have done it a little bit earlier. Because I feel like now it really is popping. Mm. There's a lot of attention to it, which is cool. But that means that you have to be worthy of the attention. There's like, if you, like what's her name? Sky, Sky Bisnick or Sky, Sky something. She's from across the pond. Mm. But she's making her... You know, making some noise, doing her thing. And she had her pro debut on top rank, I want to say. That's something that women really didn't do. There wasn't much attention on it. Her and then Shannon Ryan, they have a lot of attention on them. And they're really coming up and, like, starting. But if they fail, like, before... Then you feel like it goes back down they, to where it was? Exactly. There's a lot of pressure on it. And I feel like um, it would have been nice to come up, like... To be at that level. I know I have a process to get to there where there's a lot of attention. Mm. They started a little bit earlier. So, Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> they started a little bit earlier, so they are there. Mm. I just, I don't know. I wish I could have come up at that same time as them. But I'm coming right there, like, clearing a path. So, you know what? I changed my answer. I just talked myself out of it. Yes. This is the best time. <laughs> it's the best time. This is the best time to come up, for sure. All right, so, if everything goes right in the next five years, where's Isabel Lopez? Okay. I will be a fucking world champion. <laughs> that is exactly what I'm going to do. Where you headlining at? Because you, you're Italian and Mexican. I am. So you headlining in Texas, you headlining in Cali, you headlining in New York with the Paisanos. I would say probably New York because I love my East Coast. Yeah. I definitely do. Definitely fucking do. And I mean, that's a dream. You know? Manna Serrano, Candy, Katie Taylor, Marissa Shields, Alicia Bumgarner, uh, Michaela Mayer, like these top dog Oh, and also what's her name? Sandy Ryan. I just heard about her. She's doing her thing too. Like I wanna, I wanna fight East Coast, and I got a lot of love here. I know a lot of people here. I feel comfortable here in Madison Square Garden. Like those are, I wanna be in the same ring that these legends and champions were in. You know, making my mark. When you coming out, you coming out both colors, or you coming out as a straight chola? Okay. The good thing about Ooh. being Mexican and Italian is the colors are the same. Okay. <laughs> so I'll just I have to have the flag somewhere on me, you know. Mm. I have maybe one on the left and one on the right. I tapped with the wrong side for that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'll probably do that in black and red. Black and red's been my favorite color my whole life. It really I never see you in anything else. Maybe <laughs> you, maybe the gray sweat. You got the gray oh, yeah, sweat. So, yeah. today. <laughs> so but it's always black and red.